What is up, viewers? So, I was at Harbor Freight uh, yesterday, and I picked up a little one and a quarter pound uh, little hatchet here. Um, now, if you go to Walmart and you go to the camping section, um, not even the camping section, there's some in the gardening too. Uh, there's some little fiskers and stuff, and there's the, the hyper tough hatchets, which are the garbage. But uh, anyway, there's like Coleman, little metal handle Coleman's there, which I have. I can't find it. It's really cold out, so I don't want to mess with that. But anyway, yes, I picked up this little one and a quarter pound hatchet from Harbor Freight. Now, if you know anything about Harbor Freight, you know that they have these coupon books. Um, but anyway, I picked up this little hatchet for eight, uh, what was it? Eight bucks this was originally, and I, I got it for seven with the uh, coupon. So this is really cheap. This is cheaper than most, if not all, Walmart hatchets. Um, and this is a nice little looking hatchet. I mean, it looks good. Now this is one and a quarter pound uh, Pittsburgh hatchet. Lifetime warranty, that's very nice. Um, made in India. At least it's not made in China. Right. Well, this guy, this one has a, uh, let's see, this has a fiberglass handle, core, with a polymer coating. Um, it's got a little hole there for like a lanyard or whatever. But this is a comfortable handle. This is not, you know, this is, this is comfortable. This is not like most hatchets. Um, now, the thing with this hatchet that's really nice is, obviously the lifetime warranty, so if you break it, you can take it back. But if you break this and the head comes off, you could rehandle it because it's got a hole in the head. Something like this little uh, ball peen hammer head, it's got the same thing. It's got a through the head handle like this, so you can replace it, replace the handle. Or you just get a new hatchet, or both, depending on you know if they let you keep the broken hatchet or not. But anyway, this is a nice little hatchet. I, it has this little rubber thing near the head there. I don't know what that's for. It really doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm not sure. It's got this chintzy little rubber protector for the blade, which isn't sharp. That'll need some grinding. But it's got a nice, uh, kind of like a paint coating. Now that keeps it from rusting. Now over time, that will rub off. But what stays on there will protect that part of the axe from rusting. So it's probably not a smart idea to grind this down so it's nice and polished. Because that little Coleman uh, hatchet that I had, like the ones at Walmart, don't have any coating on them. And they rust really quite badly. So, you know. This is, this is kind of not really a splitting hatchet. Now there are specifically splitting axes, splitting hatchets. This is not so. It's got a narrow head. Now with most hatchets, most of the splitting occurs right here in the cheeks. So pretty much most hatchets are, are good at splitting. Um, and it's got a nice blunt back head here for pounding stakes, whatever. Um, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Now this here, I have a Fisker's splitting axe. They name them now like X eleven to the little or X seven to the little ones at Walmart, which I looked at, but the twenty five bucks versus eight dollars. Which would you rather spend? It's up to you. Anyway, I got this little Fiskers, and not little. It's I don't know what is this a twenty five inch handle, thirty inch handle. I don't know. It, this is a splitting axe, as you can tell by the head there. It's got those nice flanges. It's like it splits wood. Um, and it hasn't really gone that dull, actually. Right there, see the blade? It's not really that chipped or anything, which is nice. Now, what I don't like about Fiskers, and people often don't, is this handle, which actually is molded around the head. Now, like I said with this axe, if the handle comes off, you can put a new handle in that. As you can see in the end there, you can put a new handle in that. Um, even if it's a wooden handle, then you'll be good to go. So... That's kind of nice. This you can't do that. If you overstrike it, which I've done quite a bit, that's not really overstriking. That's actually the handle uh, rubbing against the wood as the axe goes through it, which happens. But people who overstrike these, they break the head off, and then they have like a, like a, like a what's the word I'm looking for? Shattered handle. Um, they can't place the head. Now this does have a lifetime warranty. I was reading it in small letters somewhere. It has lifetime warranty. Good sheath, but this is a $50 axe, $40 axe, something like that. They're good axes, but they're, they are a little bit more expensive. Um, now, Ozark Trail makes a very similar hatchet to the X7 at Walmart. They have them, too. You can see them in the camping section. They are not 
I was looking at them and I was about to get one, but the head is kind of small. They're not very heavy and they're, they're, it's a really wide hatchet. I can't really see it cutting very well, very deep. Maybe, you know, if you get one, I mean, they're 15 bucks. You know, again, $8, actually $7 versus $15 for crying out loud, Ozark Trails. You know, this is a good axe. Overall, Bargain or Bust, Junker Gem. This, this is worth the money. I would look, I would look into these. They make longer ones too, like that big Fisker. Now some people, they do like these solid handles, like this uh, East Wing or S Wing, or whatever it's called. Um, but the thing I have with this, and I use this rock hammer a lot, although it's rusting. Um, but I use it a lot. The problem I see with these a lot too, and, and I've used these solid handles before on, on hatchets, is that the Shockwave can actually go right through the handle into your hand, and over time, over a period of say an hour, that actually starts to hurt quite a bit, and it's not real comfortable. Um, now these are pretty durable, yeah, but it's up to you. Um, also, while I was at Harbor Freight the other uh, yesterday, I got this little light. Uh, it's just like three bucks, something like that. Uh, we got a couple of settings here. Try not to blind the camera. It's not bad. It's not a bad little light. I like this. I probably put this on like on the back of my lawnmower or something. It has a magnet on it. Again, it's just a regular utility utility light. Utility light. Yeah. So anyway, this is a good little hatch. I would recommend this to anybody. This is worth it. This is. I mean, this is a solid little hatch. I like it. I will be doing a video on sharpening it though, because that obviously is very important. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Till next time, Craft to Craftsman out. Thanks for watching. There you go. That's what I got right there. Compared to Friskers. Yep. Same exact price, too. Pretty good prices, actually. I got one of those right there. Yeah. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.